as we build up to the African Regional Forum for Sustainable Development, we are going to have a very exciting session, an exciting forum, which is called the African Regional Science, Technology and Innovative Forum, the brainchild of the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, Innovation, Science and Technology Development. I'm going to have a brief conversation with the men behind all this, the men that we have come to know as a revolutionary in terms of higher and tertiary education in the country, Professor Aymon Murwira. Thank you for being with me, sir. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Professor Murwira, let's just get into it. Education 5.0. Yes. That's what everyone is talking about. <laughs> a few weeks ago, people were talking about how there's been, um, how we have stopped registration so that we can be able to tailor make everything and make sure that our degrees are in line with the vision that you have. That's correct. What should the students expect? The students should expect two things. One, that every degree that they will have, every certificate that we will have, must promise them knowledge on one hand. And number two, they should expect that every degree should give them skill. Every certificate should give them skill. So we are looking forward to an education system that has got bodies of skill and bodies of knowledge. And our students should also expect an education that is configured in such a way that it has got five terms of reference. Teaching, research, community engagement, innovation and industrialization, and a departure from the um, traditional colonial education 3.0, which was just looking at teaching, research, and community service. So we are looking at a situation whereby ideas shall be converted to goods and services. I'm, I'm interested to hear about that, to, to get a little bit more information mm -hmm. on this whole transference of knowledge into goods and services. Mm -hmm. Isn't this something that we're already seeing with the current curriculum that we have? How is it going to be different from what the polytechnical colleges are offering? Yeah, you know, Stolen, the issue is not the content of the subject matter. We are not going to change the chemistry formula for carbohydrates. We are not going to change uh, the, the physics formula for gravity. What we are doing is to change the way education is budgeted for. In the meantime, education is by, was being budgeted for before the Second, the Second Republic. Education was being budgeted for using the teaching, so the treasurer would allocate money for teaching, for teachers. Research, a bit of money for research. And then workshops, a bit of money for workshops. As you can see, from a systemic point of view, education was mainly budgeted for using three items. And that education was Education 3.0, and this education, as you can see, there's no budget for the production of any goods and services. So what we are talking about now is an education that will also have innovation as a budget item and also industrialization as a budget item. That's why we have built so many innovation hubs up to now, five of them complete, as well as we have started building industrial parks. Three of them are being built. So what we are talking about here is a situation whereby our education at systemic level is going to recognize that the way we budget for education is the way we want to achieve Vision 2030, which right. is through industrialization and modernization, which is underpinned only by the production of goods and services. Right. So we've been having a boot camp here in Victoria Falls. Yes. I was happy to have been a part of it. Very good. Which, Very brought, good. Up, which brought together 200 yes. youth. Yes. They were learning about artificial intelligence. That's correct. How do you think we as a country are doing in terms of adapting to the to, to the demands, to the changes in industry, in technology, as far as technology is concerned? Yes. As you know, with Education 5.0, we are producing what I call an education pipeline that enables our students to innovate, right? So innovation is part of the education system now. What therefore that means is that this bootcamp, in terms of artificial intelligence, this is the latest 
area in which knowledge is being applied. Artificial intelligence talks about machine learning, it talks about replacing all those tasks that can be done by human beings with machines and robots. And it's very important because when His Excellency the President, Comrade Idim Nangagwa, talks about Vision 2030, he talks about leapfrogging. And leapfrogging by nature means using things that make you be able to jump certain stages of development. For example, let me tell you, by 1994, when the cell phone was being introduced, at that point, people were waiting for PTC lines. Huh? They were waiting for PTC lines. There was a huge, uh, you know, right. queue yes, of people. Yes, the waiting list. Oh, oh, the waiting list. Yes. And with the introduction of the cell phone, you see, we jump to the next stage. Right. No more ropes, mm -hmm. just wireless communication. Yeah, right. So with artificial, with artificial intelligence, what we are talking about is we will be able to manufacture our things. You still remember goods and services? Yes. Faster right. than any other time before in history. Which basically means when Zimbabwe concentrates on the latest, it means we will be able to produce our goods and services faster and in more intelligent ways which makes us be able to achieve an upper middle income economy through the adoption of industry 4.0 which is underpinned by the internet of things and artificial intelligence that's amazing yes. and then lastly tomorrow we are going to have the african regional forum on science technology and innovation that's correct what exactly is going to be happening what is going to happen is that we are going to have a meeting of minds and our main issue is to say, how do we gear ourselves so that Africa can use science, technology, and innovation for its own development, for its modernization, for its industrialization. So the main issue that you will see being discussed is the way in which we have to make our education be able to inculcate the culture of science, the culture of technology, the culture of innovation within the production systems of the nation, of the continent. Because anyways, all human development is underpinned by technology, it's underpinned by science, it's underpinned by innovation, whether codified or non-codified. You remember, when I say codified, it means the one that we write. Mm -hmm. But Africa, for example, like Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe culture, mm -hmm. He has been using uncodified scientific knowledge, right. which made us be able to, to build Kame ruins, the Great Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and many others, yes, yes. which basically means we are at the center of science, technology, and innovation, and how it delivers modernization and industrialization. That's good. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this brief chat. Thank you. This is what's happening in Victoria Falls. Mm. There is a lot of innovation, science, technology that is coming out. And it is all thanks to the support that the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education is getting from UN Partners. Uh, UNESCO is one of them, as well as initiatives by the youth, such as the Zimbabwe Youth SDGs Forum. Thank you, Professor Murira. Thank you very much. Thank you, you very much. Falls. Thank you very we'll much. We'll go and look and see the falls together. Sure, yes? sure, sure. We should. We will. We should. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Thanks.